Pony Entertainment, baby. Und das singen wir sich. 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 Hey! 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 This is uh, brand new from hmm, it's Janu Nella Kod radio station. Yes, this is uh, YC. And it calls on Zagaban. Good day viewers, welcome to another exciting episode of Producers Creed. The name is your favorite boy on TV, Olabode Sage, aka the Prince of the Mic. And people still wondering, what is Producers Creed? Producers Creed is where we get to put a face to the name you hear on all the hit songs on your radio and on your stereo. Basically, the producers of all these hit songs. And today on Producers Creed, we have this young, let me say that thing again, young, very, very young multi-talented producer the brain behind the tun 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 jagaban of yc mr do do on the beat baby i don't have a female voice i just i just, I just tried that uh, it's nice meeting you bro what's going on bro i'm not too much you just do you just do you see when i said young you now you see you see abi that is young I don't know. Okay, I'll, I'll, okay. No, we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about <laughs> okay, so tell us, D Will, aside the music, aside the fame, aside the girls, the money, everything, the hype, who is D Will? D Will, D Will. Um, D Will is a straightforward guy, a music producer, like you all know. My name is David Williams, though, by the way. So you guys can stop calling me Dio when you see me. If you, my homie, if you just reach me out, hey, Dio over there, you understand? So I do the straightforward guy. As you can see, young. As you can see, uh, fresh. More people. <laughs> more people are there, so, so. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that's just it for me, David Williams, singer, songwriter, and music producer. So tell us, how did you come about the name Dewil? Dewil. Uh, it was derived from my original name, David Williams. Yeah. So it's just comedy, <laughs> comedy, mm, small, 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 really, yeah, pull way. <laughs> so tell the, the signature, the, the wheel on the beat. How did you do it? Who did it? Who's the girl? Who did it? Now, now your girlfriend. Who, who did it? Who did it? Okay, okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> so who, who did who did that signature for you? Uh, it was actually a friend of mine, cause people were requesting and cause I didn't put the um the signature on the original song until the remix so people were requesting like alpha uh, you don't want your name to be heard or something so i was like okay let's give it a shot and everybody liked it so i had to do it still on the good page mm. trust me if i have a signature like that i'll put it in after every line in that song <laughs> okay so tell us do you how did production start for you um production started at an early age very very early age because um i've always had interest in music um so i met someone called boye he briefed me through everything taught me the basics i needed to know for music and everything so i it was like it got to me so he actually put out the music producer in me mm. so tell us do you what music instrument you play any music instrument yeah i do i do i play keyboard the keyboard yeah. just just the keyboard i play the guitar too mm. guitar. Mm. so tell us do you um your first pay as a producer how much was it my first pay as a producer mm. i was like four years ago i think it was 1k <laughs> <laughs> it was one key. key. I, I wouldn't call it pay. I think it was appreciating me like guy. Yeah, no, one, one key. No, no, no. Ah, and as from somewhere, so person they start. I mean, you can't give me one key now. <laughs> you heard him. So how much? How much did he charge now? Like how much? It's confidential. It's confidential. We'll talk about that. Then I'll, I'll get my own percent and my own share. Based on what you do. Okay. So, D Will, you've been producing songs back to back, back to back. Which song turned the tables for you? Which song? I think you know the answer to the question already. Uh, for those that don't know, for those still guessing, is it the one? Is it not the one? Uh, in case you don't know, it was YC's Jagapan, produced by yours truly. Still on the beat, baby. Let me put it in mix here for in case you don't know. So, um, with Salami Day on it. Yeah, with Salami Day on it. It was great. And for those that don't know, uh, D Will just won an award, an award for best producer. 
best afro hip hop producer beat awards congratulations bro thanks thanks bro no fans me shots on goons me shots on what i mean in the school me and you said a whole lot of people were just looking at you that who's this boy who am this small yeah, yeah. boy I, I could see the shock on your face it's like ah uh -uh. My kill and stuff like that. <laughs> so when 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 I I stepped to collect the award, I was I was honored with the small picking look. <laughs> so yeah, it was good though. It was good. Thank God. Mm. So tell us outside the music studio, who is the will? What do you do outside the music studio apart from production and all? What do you do? Uh, I I still revolve around the entertainment entertainment circle. Um, I'm a singer and a songwriter too. So, I do all. So, are we expecting any song from you very soon? Yeah, very soon. 2016 is going to be a massive year. Talking about um, 2016, I heard the rumor that um, you are officially signed to Tiny Entertainment, but there are some labels trying to steal you away. How true is that? Ah, Sage. It's confidential. <laughs> it's confidential. But you are signed to Tiny Entertainment. Tiny Entertainment Mafia, baby. You know, do it twice. Check up on TV. <laughs> okay, so tell us who are the producers you look up to or you listen to their works and all? Uh, I'll say internationally, I i would choose um, Timbaland because he's like always been there. I listen to his songs, bro, and it makes me want to do more, you understand? Because he's versatile and, and very good. So in Nigeria, I'll pick the person that taught me whatever I learned today. That's way. Oh, watch out for we man, we the best. So um that's way and SARS. 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 I listen to SARS too. But yeah I don't think SARS, SARS they try, they try. I think I would do better than SARS. If if I were to be a producer, but I'm, I'm not. I mean that's like that's a plus to SARS anyways. Nick is smelling nice, the pack or a Okay, so tell us, do you? Aside the music, aside everything, there will be that girl, that beautiful, beautiful young lady that is cashing your heart, that is cashing your heart, that is the jagaban to your heart. Who's that girl? You know, the jagaban to my heart now is the music. Believe me, <laughs> I, I am I'm basically taking my time to work on stuff. You know, you have to be consistent and all that stuff. So I'm just trying to put out more stuff for people to hear my name and just watch out for it. So, so you're single? With my keyboard and everything, I'm in love with them. But you're single. I'm a single music producer. So you are ready to mingle, searching, single and searching. I am not searching. I'm in love with my keyboard. You can see the guy doesn't look me. My keyboard doesn't look me. Really chill. See, if you go cheat on me last time. <laughs> if I cheat on my keyboard guitar, if you don't see those whole guitar, say, how fun are you? Fuck up. Don't cheat and fuck up. Don't cheat and fuck up. Okay. Um, uh, viewers, we've been talking to Dewey, the producer behind Jagaban Original and Jagaban Remix. Uh, I mean, I've been having so much fun. Let's go for a quick break. When we come back, it is the song focus. Jagaban, the song, the short, Mr. YC to Limelight. I'll be right back. Be balling on my woman, come Jagaban. 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 Producers Creed on TV. The name is still all about the sage, and we're still in the studio with T Will on the beat, baby. And we're going straight to the song focus. Song focus, Jagaban by YC, produced by Mr. D Will. How did that song Jagaban and they come up? Uh, it was for like six o'clock in the morning. So it was quite like I just did wake up. I just did like I was Alpha, let's do something new. And at that time Kondo was the hot wave at the moment, so I came to the studio, heard the beat, it was massive. And how did he come up with the hook, the Jagaban hook? When the studio now vibing first and then you know you have to vibe. I don't I don't know how people make the songs outside but in here we just try to vibe on the beat first and hear what comes out, whatever comes out, it writes. Kills it. Hmm. Right. Kills it. So tell us, how was working with YC like? 
I I see as my old boy, homeboy, even before condo, even before this thing. So we've known each other for quite a while now. So um, I've always been working with him, but Jagama was in different project entirely. So it was quite massive. It was good. So did you know that Jagaban was going to go this viral? Jagaban. I always believed in the song, Sha. I believed in the song, but I never knew. We were... It can smell a nice tapako rapani. Oh my, what's in my way? Oh my, you're a bunny. Why see that? Oh my, Alaji, where did I be calling? Oh my, woman, let me jack a bunny. So, do tell us how was um, what were the challenges you faced recording that song, Jagaban? Uh, I really can't say about the original song, but. Uh, on the remix, we had to go through some stress like that, trying to get the perfect beat. We we're trying to contemplate if we should change the beat or do something else, or you understand, so stuff like that. So that was just minor stuff first. So, how did you guys now decide that okay, we are using this old beat? Uh, uh, there's something they call teamwork when you have a team, everybody think together, brainstorm, whatever comes out must be good. Mm. So I was working with Olamide like like I was I was it was actually shocking you know I, when I saw the tweet like Olamide said he would love to jump on Jagaban ah mm. oh. Mm. oh my dad oh my dad that stands <laughs> <laughs> so, so it, it, was, it was massive I, I I really was honored to do that so because it brought me a lot of stuff too you know as a producer and everything so it was it was good so so, so now your prize your prize tag don't increase now it's confidential <laughs> <laughs> okay so mr dewey um advice to up-and-coming producers artists and entertainers out there um i don't like using the word up and coming like uh, right, this right. stuff uh, i'll just say i'm a learner too you should keep learning every day um because you never know where you might end up because most people doing this music they normally don't end up in a star or something or something. so you just have to keep hustling hustle and grind work and pray that's just it and don't sleep for those sleep for those seeing him that is this fresh <laughs> he has not slept in like how many in how many weeks how many days we don't sleep, we don't sleep. I, we don't sleep actually because in like a day we make like three songs every day make like three songs three songs so I don't let the cut out of the bag. 2016 is gonna be massive, man. Expect it. Time it's gonna be fire. Fire. Even in Senegal, we control the fire. If you interview me there, you guys get like cold water. To be going interview me, say, ah, guy, bad dude. You understand? Stuff like that. You understand? <laughs> okay, people, I've been talking to D. Will, Mr. Jagaban. It has been fun, it has been massive. Let's just go straight to how he made that song, Jagaban. I'll be right back. Name is Olabo the Sage and it's still producer screen on TV. Stay stay tuned. I thought I was a foreigner. I'm a bay or a bunny. I'm waving up these sections like a dunny. Understand a tiny guy because anybody told it got me up. A lot of people have been asking about how the beach jagaban and stuff came through the kicks and everything. So I'll just brief you on feel. I uh, only let the cut out of the bag yesterday, so let's be a few things. Jagaban, the beat was originally made of normal Africa sounds, you know, the conga and all those stuff. Since then. So, what we have here, we have the kicks, we have the African conga and plank and all those stuff. So, you know, the precautions you need to do a normal beat that I just teach the normal recipe, but <laughs> you understand? So, got the kick here, you know. We the kick here, we go. Um, we the snare, we got the clank, we got the 808. You could hear the 808 on the beat, the hardcore part, the part where the beat switched. You understand? So, just here, just, just listen. Just listen.
fish were wandering. I used the normal Kiko, I used the normal snare, I used the normal planks. So she did it. Do it in the beat, baby. For that cloud now, you can't get in my zone, bitch. No be me the parts. I ain't bothered by your own shit. Make the street my home, so a nigga never homesick. By the hooks, if I wall it there, I pass the microphone. I don't quit. all the day, I couldn't look at my Kimmy, beat the shamu. I fought by Jenny, Bruce, G, Kashamu. Slicing all these rappers, beats, I fuck it to rest. So yeah, like I'm mad at money, so I share it with the weak and so yeah. Jack and Fu, I love, I love. Eat boys, wanna smell a new one, new one. Street boys, on my phone. Still smelling nice, loving that flan.